Okay, uh, hi everyone. So this is the secret compartment in the trash can. Right now the compartment is locked. So I press this and okay, one second. Yeah. So I press this and it goes up. And then if I try to open it, it won't come out because there's a chain holding it underneath. If I wait for a while. Just the motor. And if you heard the servo motor, it's probably open now. And as you can see, the Arduino, the servo motor. Uh, in a couple of minutes, I'll be showing you exactly how the mechanism works. Okay, there were three problems I faced when I was making this trash can. The first thing was that this entire trash can is circular. So whenever I tried to attach the false ceiling inside, I had to keep changing the sizes and making something uh, which is exactly in that shape was very hard. Actually, I had to get the cutting outsourced. So the first thing I think most people should do is pick a trash can which is square or if you can't find one, just build a square trash can. It's far easier than using a circular trash can. The second problem I had was that the edges inside here are tapering which means the width keeps getting getting smaller and smaller. Now I had measured uh, and I didn't realize this in the beginning, I had measured the trash can out for a distance just uh, 4 to 5 centimeters below the top of the trash can, presuming that I could put it even lower. But when I went tried to go any lower, it did not go I mean, any lower because uh, the edges were tapering and the width was far smaller. So the second thing I would advise you to do is pick a trash can which does not have tapering edges. And the final thing is quite obviously the color because uh, when you pick colors like white or red or frankly any color except black, it's quite easy to spot the differences between the color of the original trash can and the color of the uh, false ceiling which you're putting in. But if you put a color like black, it's far harder to spot it, especially if you put it in a dimly lit place and you paint the interior of the cat trash can also the same color that you're painting uh, your yeah, false ceiling. So now I'm going to show you how the mechanism works. So now I'm going to show you how the entire mechanism works. The rubber band you can see on the trash can is really of no use. I just kept it to hold this um, piece of wood up so that it doesn't fall down and I can show you what's actually happening on the inside. So when I press the foot pedestal the Arduino turns on and the way this happens is under this foot pedestal you have another switch like this which gives power to the Arduino. So this way power consumed is very low because Arduino only turns on every time you press the foot pedestal. So right now it turns on and it moves into the locking position uh, of the wood piece. As you can see there's a gap in the wood piece and so when the wood piece moves down the aluminium piece which is attached to a servo motor also moves into the wood piece and you can't uh, move the this hinged part up or down. Okay, so right now the servo is in the lock position. So when this piece of wood goes down, it will be locked and I'm going to unlock it now. It will take 30 seconds from when I pressed the button. And you should see it moving to the right at the time. In this project I used a full size Arduino controller but you don't really have to, you could easily accomplish the same thing with just the AT Tiny. The coding is incredibly simple, the really hard part in this project is finding the right trash can and attaching stuff to it I guess. My locking mechanism is also um, not very good but yeah there you see the locking mechanism is activated and I have turned it off. And the best part about this is to relock it. All you have to do is just turn the Arduino on and it will reset itself to the original position that it was in. So right now the Arduino is starting up and there you have it. It's gone back to its locking mode and that is our secret trash can compartment which nobody will ever find.